Hi Aries, I hope that you're doing well. I send you so much love and light. Welcome to your December love reading and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to take a look into your love life this month in December and see what's coming your way. Experiences, it could be who's coming towards you. I'm just going to open myself up and let you guys know what comes through from spirit about your love life. I do hope that you enjoy this reading. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for clicking on the video. My name is Lynn. This is Passion of Heart Tarot. I hope you'll subscribe. Don't forget to leave a like on the video, you guys. Let's jump right in here. Let's see what's going on in your love life in December. And before I begin, I just want to take a moment to invite the white light, the Holy Spirit. You're getting, you're getting a really beautiful message, Aries. Look at these cards coming through. Look at the, look at these energies. Your own Aries energy is here, as well as Virgo, and the initial M. You may be involved with another Aries currently, or maybe you're thinking of another Aries or a Virgo. This could be Cross Watchers energy, Moon or Rising signs. I'll mention all those little things because it's coming through. Are you guys in a serious relationship now? Because if you're if you're in a relationship now and you're wondering like, okay, especially if it's newer, and you're wondering like, well, what is gonna happen between us? If you're wondering about the potential outcome, about things moving forward, I it's it's crazy because you have marriage on the horizon. Like there's no getting around that that's clear as day, that that is the energy of marriage coming in for you so some of you could be in a position where right now it would be like it would make sense for you and your person to get engaged it would make sense right now for your person to propose to you some of you are in that stage in the connection and if you are and you've been talking about those things or if you've just had a feeling that maybe you're even going to get a surprise proposal i for sure see that on the horizon for someone here for others of you, because I mean, it would be a beautiful time to propose to someone and I feel like someone is planning that for you, Aries. For others of you, if you are single and you're wondering if you're going to meet someone important or if you're going to meet someone serious, absolutely. Like, because this the energy remains the same, Aries. What I see coming towards you is marriage and happiness and just feeling like you have such a sense of security and stability. So I can see someone coming towards you and that's the potential outcome on the horizon that's the thing is is even if you don't get a proposal in december because the connection is newer this is who i can see coming towards you and that is the energy that they're going to bring into your life that's their intention and that will be the potential outcome between the two of you and for those of you that are already in a relationship i see you guys taking it to the next level um, but if you're already married to this person and you've, and you've accomplished that milestone, I feel like this month you just look at your person and feel such a sense of love and security. You, you take a look back at what the two of you have had and where you are now and how much you've grown. Really feeling like you and your person are like this, like you just see eye to eye. You have the same goals, the same dreams, the same values. It's like it, it really is like being one with them. So if you're already married or in a serious relationship now, I feel like this month you get even closer to your person. The overall energy is the hermit. And that's something that shows me you putting things into perspective, you feeling like you're in the right place at the right time. And it's like really counting your blessings, taking a look around at your life and knowing 
that you have so much to be grateful for. So I see you guys being in the present and enjoying the present. I see where you're talking about the future and feeling like you have a, a beautiful future ahead of you in your love life. So let me circle back around to those of you that maybe this is someone newer that you're involved with now. So I feel like what spirit wants you to know is that this person already loves you, even if they haven't said it yet. And even if they don't say it in December, what spirit wants you to know is that it is there and they're just waiting for the right time to, they're waiting for the right time. That That's just what it is. Waiting for the right time to tell you how deep their feelings are. And I can see how strongly this person feels about you, Aries. They've never met anyone like you. They know they're never going to meet anyone like you. And they're looking at you with so much potential to be their lifelong partner, to be their future spouse. They just feel like it's so right. And they feel so secure about it. So even though I see where for some of you here, they're not out and out telling you those words that I love you. What Spirit wants you to know is that it's absolutely there. And it is real. It is genuine. It is true. See, this person, you're... If this is newer, since you came into their life, there's been a lot of growth, I feel, for the two of you. Makes me wonder, like, since this person came in, Aries, have you been looking back at the past and comparing it to what you have now with this person? Comparing your feelings for this person now to other connections before where maybe you felt like, uh, maybe, I think you didn't know your feelings could be this strong. And I feel like it's the same for them. So there are there are certain things that are not being said, but the emotions are there. The feelings are there. There's just so much potential for growth ahead of you this month. And honestly, there it's not like this person is holding back um, to keep anything from you. I feel like honestly, what Spirit wants you to know is if they haven't told you that they love you that yet, they're just waiting for the right time. Okay, so that's for those of you that are already like, you met this person. So let me just confirm also something for someone. Like if you met this person and you immediately felt something special with them, you immediately said to yourself, like, I feel like this is the person that I'm going to marry. What Spirit wants you to know is your intuition is on point and that's what I can see happening between the two of you. It's the way that you make this person feel, Aries. You make them feel respected. You make them feel secure. You make them feel like you you make them feel like you trust them and that you feel like you're safe with them. And when they feel that way, this person thrives. Because I feel like they've wanted this for so long. Ben look this is a this is a person who's wanted marriage for so long, wanted a serious relationship for so long. So you, you just make them see how much potential there is here. So I don't want to spoil it for anyone, but I can definitely see a proposal on the horizon. It's interesting to me that for those of you that are in that stage where getting a proposal from them would be like realistic for you. It's interesting to me that the Ace of Cups is coming in reverse around your energy. Like it's coming in reverse. So it's, it's like what's being held back. It makes me wonder, are any of you holding back a little bit to try to get your person to come forward, holding back a little bit and maybe not just being so open and expressive as you normally are to give them a chance to come forward. If you're, do if you're doing that, or if you're thinking about doing that, it's not a bad idea because I can see that if you hold yourself back a little bit, Aries, and I don't mean um, in a way that like you cut off communication with this person or you're playing playing any kind of like emotional games to leave them confused. Like I don't mean holding back like that. It's just like maybe listening more, just giving them a chance to come forward, giving this person a chance to open up, letting them take the lead more. I can see that if you do that, they really do rise to the occasion. It's something that triggers a lot of growth within this person. 
So I just see in December where someone is going to be ready, Aries, ready for a major commitment, ready to even, oh, for some of you here, you could even find out that you're going to start a family because this is, this is like a father and this is a family or it's a mother, you know, it's, a, it's, it's a spouse, it's a parent. That's what I should say because there's guys and girls watching this, but that's what it, that's what it's like that. Mm. So for some of you here, you could even find out about a pregnancy in December or you start to talk about what it would be like if the two of you started a family. So planning to start a family or you're going to find out that another ch a child is on the way or another child is on the way. I just see you guys being so happy. There's just so much energy of celebration and positivity and abundance and family and fruitfulness and love and security and protection and safety. So if you're in a relationship now, it's gonna it's go only going to get better. I feel like you're gonna have a beautiful month with this person in December. Some of you, like I said, will get engaged, take things to the next level, talk about planning a family, maybe even talk about making a, a major purchase together. But for those of you that are single, I just feel like the reading is even more significant and special for you if you've been wanting, if that sounds amazing to you, to have that with someone, and you've been wanting someone like that to come into your life, if you've been longing for, wishing for, even praying for your future spouse to come in, this is clearly who that person is coming towards you. So if they haven't come in yet, they are coming in. And this is just spirit letting you know the potential and what will unfold between the two of you. I feel like the two of you will challenge each other and make each other grow and blossom because that's what the hermit, that's what the hermit energy does. For, oh, and look at that. I look a little bit further under the deck and who comes through? The Empress. And then the Ten of Cups. Five of Pentacles in reverse is the end of a lonely cycle, the end of feeling um, excluded. Emperor and the Empress just illustrates what I'm saying to you guys so perfectly because this is marriage. That's even parenthood. For some of you here, you have a person that's um, been away and they're coming back. Uh, could be a long distance relationship, but for others of you, I feel like maybe this person has even been deployed or overseas and they're coming back. Makes me wonder if they're, oh, not just, I feel like you're getting a lot of spoils, you know, in your, in your reading Aries, but someone could even surprise you Aries that maybe is, is gone now and you don't expect this person to be around in December and they could even end up surprising you, showing up right where you are. And for someone, they even take it a step further and they surprise you with, with um, really good news or a proposal for you. So you have a lot to look forward to. There's a lot of positive messages coming through for you. It depends on what's going on with you now. I feel it's it's beautiful because if you're in a place that I can see here where maybe you feel like your love life has been difficult or you're just in that place of really wanting your partner to come in because because you're longing for them, like your heart is longing for them, your soul could be longing for this person. I see the two of you coming together in this lifetime. So this is, all of this is very serious because this is about marriage. This is about having kids. This is about family. This is about growth. This is about stability, major purchases, financial stability, merging even of families. All right, you guys. So it's going to be big for you. Some of you will see these things come to fruition in December. For others of you, it will just be that this person comes into your life in December and these things will play out for you as the two of you progress and get to know each other. But it's spirit letting you know that something huge is on the horizon. So even if you are married to this person and you already have a family with them, I just feel like when you look at what you have in December, you're going to be so grateful because there's so much health and abundance and well-being. So it's like you and your person, even though you're close now, are only going to get closer. 
when I see this energy of the Ace of Cups in reverse and it, it's spirit showing me um, someone holding back, and I don't mean that in, in a way that causes any pain, maybe it's a message to you, Aries, um, to let your person have the floor a little bit more and maybe to even consider uh, working on your listening. Because I can see when you uh, hold back in that way, or you know when you yeah when you hold things back in that way, it really makes your person flourish and feel important and feel respected. You know, don't get me wrong, you guys. I'm not saying that you do anything um, to make this person feel disrespected or or that you outshine them in any way. You know, it's not that's not what it's like. But I can just see a partner who feels like they're truly playing their role as a partner. Whatever that looks like to the two of you. And when they feel like they're truly playing their role as a partner, they thrive and they shine and they grow and they blossom. It's just like letting your person be who they are. They in turn let you be who you are. The two, it's just feeling like this person is home. It's very beautiful. So reunions are in store for some of you here. The announcement of a pregnancy is in store for some of you here or planning it, talking about it. And, and if you haven't already met who you consider to be your future spouse, that is who's coming your way in December. For some, I'm getting a message for anyone who's wondering, well, how am I going to meet this person? You'll be introduced to this person through uh, either a family member. Yeah, I feel like it's a family member or someone that you consider family. They're going to introduce you to your future spouse. Okay, Aries. So that's what I'm picking up on for you guys in December. It's a really beautiful reading. I hope, I hope that it makes you feel happy. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful for you. Okay, you guys, I love you so much. Thank you for joining me for your reading today, Aries. Please leave a like on the video. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you, guys. I love you so much. I wish you all the best. Happy holidays, and I will see you in the next reading.